Hey guys, it's Goofy Goop the Balls, and today I want to talk to you guys about that reverse boosting double standard I was talking about in one of my other videos, and tell you guys what I really mean by it. So just to give kind of a background to this, in all previous Call of Duties, there's been tons of YouTube channels and other channels like that, based off of insane gameplays, like double, triple nukes, moabs, chem strikes, things like that, where people go 100 and 0, get these ridiculous gameplays with poor setups and bad guns. And I mean, if we're going to be honest about it, most of those gameplays were definitely gotten against players far lower skill level than the players who were getting the gameplay. Maybe there were one or two really skilled kids on the other team, but the person who gets the gameplay just totally destroys all the bad players on that team, and that's how gameplays like that were achieved in those previous Call of Duty games. And I mean, this makes sense when you think about it. If you take a really highly skilled player and have them play against a bunch of average skilled players, they're going to get these insane gameplays, double, triple moabs, nukes, chem strikes, 100 no gameplays, because they're a lot better than these kids, so they'll be able to absolutely demolish them when playing Call of Duty. But now that skill-based matchmaking has been put into place in Advanced Warfare, and a lot more focus has been put on the skill of the players in your matchmaking, there's been a huge shift in the system and what people expect of other YouTubers. The issue is that people still want to see these ridiculous double, triple DNA bombs or 100 no gameplays, but at the same time, they also don't want to see people get these gameplays through reverse boosting. And that's the double standard I want to talk about. So let's say you go on someone's channel like the Green Goblin HD. If you guys don't know who he is, he's someone who's run his channel off of getting insane gameplays for all the past Call of Duties. And if you go on any of his DNA bombs and look in the comments, you can see so many people hating on him like, oh, you got this through reverse boosting, you have no skill, da 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 da, stuff like that. So there you see people who don't want to see games achieved through reverse boosting. But then if you go on any other video talking about skill-based matchmaking, you'll see a bunch of people hating on skill-based matchmaking, saying it shouldn't be in the game. So that's the double standard. People don't want skill-based matchmaking because they want to see these insane gameplays, but then at the same time, they don't want to see these insane gameplays achieved through reverse boosting because people feel like that's cheating, just knowingly going into a lobby, knowing you're playing noobs because you lowered your stats, and saying that, oh, look at this, I got this insane gameplay, when really all you did was just lower your stats so you could play against these noobs and make it a lot easier on yourself to get a gameplay like this. And so I want to get a little more in depth about this, and there's two main reasons behind why there's these conflicting ideas in the community, and I'm going to talk about those two ideas. So I think the first issue that we have here is that in all previous Call of Duties, when people got these gameplays and put them up on YouTube, everyone just looked at the gameplays and went, wow, that's an awesome gameplay. They didn't really think about how that person was probably playing a bunch of kids who were not very good at the game, or a bunch of kids who were far below that person's skill level, which enabled them to get this ridiculous gameplay. And, you know, in all those other Call of Duty games, when people would hop on and try to go for, you know, awesome games and, you know, have a lot of fun by just destroying the other team, they would always pray, you know, to get into a really bad lobby of kids who were really bad. And that's just, that was the goal. You wanted to get into a lobby like that because then you'd be able to destroy them. But now with skill-based matchmaking and advanced warfare, all of a sudden people are totally against that. It seems that, you know, in Advanced Warfare, you can go in reverse boost and definitely get it yourself into a game of noobs, but people are really, really against that. I mean, in all other Call of Duties, you wanted to get into a lobby with noobs so you could get those kind of gameplays, and it was okay back then because either people didn't care back then or people just didn't realize that you were playing a bunch of noobs. But now, all of a sudden, when you try to get into a lobby of noobs, it becomes a problem. But in all honesty, what's really the difference here? If I go onto Modern Warfare 3, hop into a lobby, and play a bunch of bad kids, versus if I go onto Advanced Warfare, reverse boost, and play a bunch of bad kids knowingly, I mean, is that the only difference that I know in Advanced Warfare that I'm kind of, you know, getting around the system to get into these bad lobbies versus Modern Warfare 3, where I'm just randomly put into them? Is that really the only difference? Like, take this gameplay for example. I go, I think, 57 and 11 in this gameplay with a 26 kill streak, but I didn't get this through reverse boosting. This is on my main account. Now, I also have another identical, almost identical gameplay where I do reverse boost and I go 57 and 10 with a 20 kill streak. So these gameplays are very similar, but honestly, what's the difference between them? One was achieved through reverse boosting, and one was not achieved through reverse boosting. I mean, you can argue that the one that was achieved not through reverse boosting was harder to get because I was playing people closer to my skill level, but I mean, I'll show you the scoreboard right here, and as you can see, a lot of the kids on the other team aren't my skill level because look at their levels. They're just, a couple are not prestige, a couple are first prestiges, and they're just not, probably not the same skill level as me. And yeah, I'm sure that they're better than some of those kids I play through reverse boosting, but then again, what's the difference? These kids are a lower level, lower skill level than me, I mean, but honestly, what's the difference? 
I still haven't been able to find anyone that's been able to answer that question for me. If that's the only difference, then that doesn't really seem like that big a deal. Because in Modern Warfare 3, you always wanted to get into a lobby of noobs, you just, there was no way for you to do it. With Advanced Warfare, there definitely is a way, because skill-based matchmaking and reverse boosting and all that. So, regardless of whatever you want to call it, there's definitely some sort of issue here. I mean, it's either A, that people didn't really realize that you were playing noobs in previous Call of Duties, or B, that reverse boosting is now considered cheating because it helps you get into lobbies of noobs, even though in all previous Call of Duties, that's what you always wanted to do anyways. So that's just one of the issues there, and it, it really just comes down to that the people in the community aren't really being clear as to what they think is wrong and why they think it's wrong. So if you guys have any comments about that, just leave it down below. Or if you want to answer that question as to what you think is different between playing noobs in older games versus this game, again, leave a comment down below, because I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say, and if you can offer any clarity on the subject, that would be awesome. Now, the other issue that I think is at play here is that most of the people watching these YouTube videos with these gameplays honestly don't even care or don't even know about reverse boosting in Advanced Warfare. Let's look at an example here just so I can give you guys some evidence about this. So if we go into the Green Goblin HD's channel, the one I was talking about before, I'm just going to go to one of these uh, DNA bombs here, huge killstreak DNA bomb live, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and we can see that it has about 24,000 views, a little under 24,000 views. And now, if we go down to the comments, there's only 352 comments. And I'm sure not all of them are hateful towards him, but let's just assume for right now that they are. So 352 people out of the 24,000 that have watched this video are vocally complaining and leaving a comment down below, telling him that they really don't like this reverse boosting nonsense. But if we do the math out, that's really not a large percentage at all. That's maybe 1 or 2% of all the people that have watched this video that are complaining. The rest of the 99 or 98% even don't even care, and they're happy to see this gameplay because he keeps consistently getting views. I mean, you can see all the videos on the side here. He just has tons and tons of views and people keep watching his videos. And his channel keeps growing. He started at before Advanced Warfare came out with under 200,000 subscribers, I'm pretty sure. So while there may right be now those people who are really complaining thousand. about him using reverse boosting on his channel, I mean, they're in the minority. The 98, 99 percentile of the rest of these people here don't even care. And it's shown because his channel keeps growing. He keeps getting consistent, consistent views. You know, about 20,000 views a video. And it's just the double standard I'm talking about. People are hating on him. But at the same time, his channel is continuously growing. And growing a lot faster than it ever has before. And he's gained 35,000 subs during Advanced Warfare's time. So it's just kind of weird to think about how it seems like so many people are hating on him for reverse boosting. But in reality, his channel is still growing, and the vast majority of people honestly don't really care. And that's kind of the double standard I'm talking about. It seems like so many people hate him, but at the same time, his channel is really growing. So it doesn't really seem like that many people actually despise what he's doing. And yeah, maybe some of you will call him a bad YouTuber because he doesn't listen to all of his fans all the time. He only listens to most of them. But look at skill-based matchmaking, for example. It clearly only benefits the unskilled players of this game because... A, it helps noobs like play against other noobs and thus raise their stats in KD and they will play longer. Whereas the highly skilled players, the players who hold above like a 1.4, 1.5 KD, they're not being rewarded at all. They're playing people of their skill level, so their stats are going to continue to drop and they're going to have a lot of hard games. But Sledgehammer puts this into practice because it helps benefit the noobs and the noobs are the majority of the Call of Duty fan base. I think 95% of all players hold below 1kd in all previous Call of Duties and the top 5 or 10% maybe hold positive. So my point here is that you can hate on the Green Goblin for not listening to all of his subscribers out there, but at the same time, you can look at skill-based matchmaking, and you have to realize that it does not benefit everyone out there. It only benefits the majority, and it's sort of the same principle. The principle of doing the best for the majority and not for everyone as a whole. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. Just a couple issues I wanted to talk about with this reverse boosting double standard and a couple reasons why I think it's in the community and why it's such a big problem. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, I'd really love it if you could hit that like button for me or leave a comment on this video letting me know what you think. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button for me because I got a bunch of new great videos like this coming out soon. This has been Goofy Goop the Balls and I'll catch you all in the next video.